Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like. Feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future guitar and music-related videos. So today we are talking about Dunlop Flow Picks. Uh, I did a video, I think it was a week or two ago, uh, talking about the uh, Durlin 1.5, comparing it to some of the... Uh, Gravity guitar picks, and I know some of you are probably like, oh great, another guitar pick video. But this just isn't a guitar pick video, this is a quality control problem uh, right now that I am going to show you, as you have already probably seen with the video description. So, I went ahead and bought a Flow Variety Pack, just to, you know, test out all of the different sizes. It uh, They range from a .73 all the way up to a, actually, I think it's a 420 millimeter, ha ha ha, which you can say is funny. Uh, so, I am going to start with what's in the Variety Pack. So, the Variety Pack, you get one 3.0 Jumbo, you get a 2.5 Jumbo, you get a 2.0 jumbo. You get a standard 2.0. This is where I thought this was kind of annoying. I'll explain that momentarily after we go over the sizes. You get a 1.5, which is, you know, basically the same exact size as the Gravity, which was a delightful, so I can compare it to that. Uh, you get your 1.0, which this is pretty much my comfort zone. Um, you know, there's a little bit of flex, but this one is still pretty stiff. Uh, you get your 88, and then finally you get your 73. And uh, before we get to my, I guess, quality control issue, let's just talk about the variety pack um, and why I thought they could have done it a little bit better. Uh, so could have included that 420 for starters. Uh, just so you know, this variety pack off of their website is about $10. Uh, search around, though, for it. I might put a link in the description because I was stupid, saw it on Sweetwater for $5, and I was like, great, I just played doubled uh, what I could have paid. Maybe there was $5 shipping. I thought it was free shipping, but who knows. Um, I was like, great. I just I just paid $10 for a pack of picks when I could have got it for 5 So I uh, learned from my mistake. Not You know, $5 mistake, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, what I think they could have done with this variety pack, which which would have been better, is you don't need two 2.0 picks. I get, I get it. You want to show the difference between the jumbo and the regular. And yes, the regular is a little bit smaller. Um, I mean, the, the, the main difference here is the sides. Whole pick's a little bit wider. Um, but but th there is a 1.14 um, that they could have included with this. And they also could have included the 420 as well to give you the entire range, because uh, those are the two that you do not get in this pack, uh, to give you the entire range of the flow picks uh, so you know exactly what size you want because some people want a little bit bigger than the one millimeter uh but you don't want to go for the full 1.5 you think it's too thick so that's why they make that 1.14 in between size and some people want something crazy big like here's my six millimeter <laughs> pick i'm going to compare it to the three millimeter i mean just look at that literally half the size that thing is crazy um but some people want that and you know you could it's two more picks you, you maybe you up the price of the bag by like a, a buck or two if you really need to and people would still buy it you know it's variety packs are great you learn what type of size you want um etc i want to shoot out i actually bought this off of amazon for like 10 12 bucks because that was, that was i was buying a bunch of stuff off of amazon at the time um i want to shoot out to i believe it is uh jazz or jay's music uh on amazon um I, i'm forgetting the name sorry about that um but they were very good basically what happened when i got it is if you look at this pick you see the problem and if you don't see the problem look at this pick it's not supposed to be shaped like that so i contacted the guy i was like hey i'm not looking for a refund uh can you just send me one pick and he actually sent me a six pack of the 0.73 mill meter picks so thank you for that uh, but I just want to kind of go off of uh, Dunlop's quality control now I have been buying their picks so probably since I started playing I'm gonna be honest I think I started with either the 80 millimeter it's the orange pick it's either an 80 millimeter or like a 60 millimeter pick uh, that was like the first pack of guitar picks I ever bought that's what I think um, 
So, I don't know. I saw some recommendation online to do that where I was uh, massively obsessed with the Blink-182, which I still am obsessed with Blink-182, and I wanted the same pick that uh, Tom DeLonge was using. But at the end of the day, it wasn't for me. Uh, you know, I experimented with different picks, got a different couple of Dunlop picks. I think I had a variety pack at one point, maybe gave that to somebody. I no longer wanted to try some Jazz 3s, etc. But never had a problem with this. You know, you get a pack of 12 of them typically, like these. You buy one of these, you get a pack of 12. Um, but when you have a variety pack... And uh, you're literally hand picking them to put them in the bag. How how did this get through? Is is what I want to know. Is how did this even get through? Because normally I think these come in like a pack of six, uh, and they're all the same size pick. So you just grab six out of the pile. You don't even look at it. You dump them in the bag. And move on. A variety pack. They got to go to each individual station. I just dropped a pick. Uh, pick each individual size and then put them in the bag for the variety pick. It actually, that's why the, the re, part of the reason why variety packs cost more money uh, is because you're getting a different variety of sizes and it costs somebody, you know, a little bit extra time uh, to get picks from each specific size and put them in said variety pack. So how do you pick this up? <laughs> I mean, you gotta be an autopilot or something. Like, look, look at that. I'm gonna try to get as close to the camera as possible. Um, I don't know if I'm going to contact Dunlop about that or not. I probably won't. Uh, maybe they'll see this video and be like, oh, I, yeah, I don't know. But, um, I mean, I'm not hating on them. I'm, ju I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> get yourself off autopilot for a couple of seconds. Look at what's in front of you. You know what you're doing. I do the same thing. Everybody, you know, if you got a job that's very repetitious, you know, you're in a fac factory, something, cover something in plastic or whatever you're doing, um, you don't always pay attention. And all I'm saying is take that five extra seconds, pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, moving on, uh, sound-wise, um, they sound pretty good. I don't think they're as bright as the Gravity guitar picks. Um, if you if you want, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, include probably a sound demo at the end of this. I'll, I'll go through each individual size. Um, and I'm going to use the broken one, too, because that's what I got in the pack. Uh, we, we're going to use the broken one, and I'll play through all eight different picks and just do a couple of chords or something for you. Uh, but they're, they're, they're good. You know, they're stiff feeling. There is pretty much zero flex. You get a little bit of flex in the one, not too much. Uh, the 88 and the 73 are where you get your real flex. Uh, so it is a very stiff pick. I love the texture. Um, you can, I mean, it's very, very nice to grip. Um, I think there's like a John Petrucci or something. I, I know there's a couple of famous people that use the flow picks. Uh, there's there's the Gator variation where it's basically like the same exact pick, except they use the uh, the Tortex material, so you have a better grip on it, or the Gator grip um, material. But, um, I mean, just the way they design these, they're, they're beautiful, they're nice, they play very well, I like them. And um, I just got to figure out what size I want. Because this might become my main pick. I, you know, I used so many different picks. Um, I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, it's how you play. <laughs> it's not always the pick. The pick definitely gives you a slight difference here and there with each individual pick, the material that's being used. Uh, but that all depends on the actual person. So without further ado, let's just get into the demo, and you can hear all the different sizes and see if there is a difference yourself. So we are going to be on the neck pickup for all of this. Uh, I'm doing it through my Carver amp back there. Figure switch it up a little bit. Haven't used that in a video in a long time. Uh, all going to be on the clean channel so you can hear the difference. Probably have a grounding issue with the Gibson Les Paul here. I haven't used the Gibson Les Paul in a while either. We are starting with the Jumbo 3.0 and we're going to go from biggest to smallest. We are doing the 2.5, also a jumbo. Thank you. 
Next we are doing the 2.0 also still jumbo. Next we are going on to the regular sized or standard size 2.0 no longer jumbo. Now we are on to the 1.5 regular sized. to the 1.0 regular size. Next, we are going on to the point eighty eight regular size. Now we are going on to my deformed point seventy three regular size. Thank you. 
Um, I like the 73 a little bit more than I thought. I kind of like that little bit of flex. 88 isn't too bad. Um, I'm not really hearing a sound difference, in my opinion, from like one down, like the 3.0 to like the two, the 1.5, a little bit stiffer. You know, I'll bring the 3.0 back, kind of have that. You know, they got that stiff kind of chuggy chug feeling. Uh, and then you got something like this where, you know, it's a little bit more flexible. And you can hear that flex. Uh, but overall, I enjoy the picks. They are nice, uh, minus me having that one deformed pick. Uh, so do with that information as you will. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.